Hello, Forever Family. Until then, keep focus on what matters most to you. Hello, Forever Family, and welcome to the very last episode of Forever Matters for 2023. I'm Nick Woodward Shaw, and I'll be your host for this episode. Now, this month's episode is all about recognition and celebrating a few of the amazing events that our FBOs attended from around the world. So first up, 300 FBOs from Japan visited our headquarters right here in Scottsdale, Arizona. As well as visiting the home office, they visited Forever Nutraceuticals, the Aloe Fields in Mission, Texas, as well as Aloe Vera of America in Dallas. They had a truly impactful experience seeing the products come to life from the plant to the product to how they're delivered to customers. Also, Japan was honored by a visit from Rolf Kipp and his beautiful family, where he completed two days of training sessions in November, which was attended by over 100 Japanese forever business owners. Rolf focused on continuing the basics of daily activities to achieve your goals, and participants left energized and encouraged by his inspiration. Now, over in Holland, 40 participants who earned the manager level experienced a special weekend with training sessions, a visit from Vice President of Europe, Peter Boots, and as a highlight, they visited our Forever Direct Distribution Center in the Netherlands. Simply two fantastic days with lots and lots of learning. Now, over in Jaipur, India, 750 people attended a success workshop highlighting inspiring success stories training, motivation, recognition, and inspiration. Sounds like they had it all in Jaipur. Over in Germany in Munich for their supervisor incentive, 80 FBOs were welcomed at the company headquarters there for lots of networking training and they created their own motivational videos. Sounds interesting. And finally in the Baltics, they got together in Lithuania to celebrate 20 years of forever business in their country. Congratulations, guys. And now for some fantastic recognition. We have three brand new Sapphire managers to celebrate. Congratulations to Havisa Humara Rubab from the UAE, to Rosaline Nalapo from South Africa, and Karashash Abuzova and Karum Askarov from Kazakhstan. Way to go, guys. We also have two new Diamond Sapphire managers to recognize. First up is Ahmad Soyman Solout from the UAE, who was introduced to Forever through his cousin in 2018, and by 2021, he'd already reached Sapphire Manager. Ahmad qualified for Chairman's Bonus in 2021 and 2022, and his motto is, success doesn't come easily without hard work, and wise words they are. Congratulations, Ahmed. Next up as a brand new Diamond Sapphire is Susan Motswanagheng from Botswana. She was a high school teacher when she joined Forever in 2016 and Susan has always wanted to give back to her community and now, along with help from Forever, she is sponsoring a school in a remote area of Botswana and has donated school uniforms. Susan attributes her success with Forever to her hard-working team and is thankful to them. Way to go, Susan! We also have one new diamond manager from Japan to recognize. Congratulations to Naomi Ayagi. When Naomi was 35 years old, she left her job at Bank of Japan looking for a way she could enjoy her life more. Then in 2003, she met her sponsor at a coaching seminar and became an FBO. Now, not only is she celebrating her achievement of diamond manager, Naomi is also celebrating her 20th anniversary with Forever. Naomi believes that Forever is a company filled with love, appreciation, and joy. You're not wrong there, Naomi. And her next goal is to become a GLT member. Amazing work and congratulations. And finally, for this group of recognition, we have a double diamond manager. They don't come around too often, and I'm very proud to recognize Edmund and Lonnie Ramos uh, from the Philippines. Edmund and Lonnie have been with the business a long time. They've been GLT members, and they've been chairman's bonus for many, many, many years. They're as hardworking a couple as you can imagine. So congratulations, Edmund and Lonnie. We are so proud of you in achieving Double Diamond Manager. 
And now it's time to recognize our top 10 FBOs globally from November who have the most case credits. And in 10th place, congratulations to Attila Gidoff Alvi from Kazakhstan. Number nine, it's Marina Karnat from Moldova. At number eight, it's Joel and Andre Bonafoy Poli from Morocco. And at seven, Alicia Vincentin from Italy. Number six from Turkey, congratulations to Deheya Ahmad Atea. And number five from the UAE, congratulations, Binish Abubakar. At number four, Miho Sugihara from Japan. And number three, congratulations to Rolf Kip from the UAE. In at number two is Etsuko Motosuji from Japan. And at number one from Japan, congratulations to Hanami Takagi. And next, we'd like to recognize our top 10 open group for November 2023. And in 10th place is Chiemi Monguchi from Japan. At number nine, also from Japan, Fuyuki Mayurama. At number eight, congratulations to Dana Silvoza from Japan. Congratulations at number seven to Tomoko Kobayashi, also from Japan. At number six place from Italy, Maria Fabiola Casto. And congratulations at number five is Kautor Taiju from Morocco. Number four, congratulations from Japan to Sei Morawaki. And number three from Japan, Misaki Kato. Congratulations to Marina Karnat from Moldova at position number two and number one top open group for November 2023. Congratulations to Hanami Takagi from Japan. Now, what's a great way to drive interest about some of our new products? Well, how about giving a chance to your customers to experience them even for a moment? Our good friend from the Netherlands, Aziza Chiat, has been doing just that. She's been spraying either Forever Alofa or Forever Melosi inside the boxes for her customers before she ships product to them. And so many of them have told her how amazing the box smells when they open it. What a great conversation starter about these new products. And thank you so much to Aziza for sharing this innovation. Now, 2023 has been an amazing year at Forever and I've been so lucky to be able to celebrate and recognize so many of our amazing leaders this month and throughout the year. But however good 2023 has been, I can't help feeling that 2024 is gonna be even better. I'm honored to be involved in the development of new campaigns, new products, new policy updates, and brand new incentive destinations. And I promise you that you will not be disappointed about what's coming your way. You are absolutely in the right place. But that's a wrap now for Forever Matters 2023. So I will see you in a thrilling new year, but until then, have a wonderful festive season, stay focused, and remember that what matters most to us is you.